Good afternoon YouTube, so today we've got a Mercedes, it's a E300 Bluetech Hybrid and the issue we've got is various warning lights on the dash related to the ABS Now, if we go into the fault codes here, you can read the fault code that we've got Wrong component left front axle RPM sensor is installed Now this has already been changed Albeit it's a aftermarket unit because apparently Mercedes stopped making them. So that's been changed. We've got wheel speed there, so we're not worrying about that fault code. But we're still persistent with a, an ABS light on. Um, and just showing you the importance of looking at your live data. Uh, so if we, for instance, we've got the pressure sensors. So you go back a wee bit here, I just looked at all the live data in each of these because um, there is no fault code apart from that left front axle speed sensor or RPM sensor as Mercedes call it um, So I actually stumbled across the pressure sensor side and see if you can spot, so we'll go to select all see if you can spot what's wrong you can see there we've got our vacuum sensor, brake pressure, brake pressure at left front wheel, the brake pressure at right front wheel. Albeit the brake pressure at the left front wheel is a bit lower than the right front wheel, but I'm not really concerned about that. Because if we do press the brake, you can see that the pressure's more or less equal. But the thing that really stands out is the vacuum sensor. That's sitting at minus 56 millibar and well, the engine isn't even running. So we're going to look at that um, and we'll do a couple of tests on that to confirm if the sensor is faulty. A brake vacuum sensor which I've just pulled out of that little hole in there, that grommet, uh, that's where it lives. Uh, you just need to lift up this this frame here and pull that out of the grommet. So it's a three wire sensor so what do we expect to see? We expect to see a 5 volt reference, a ground and a feedback. Um, so what we'll do is we'll unplug and we'll check the ground with a test lamp. We'll check the 5 volt reference and we'll check, I'm guessing it'll go into a bias voltage so what we'll do is we'll check the bias voltage as well and make sure that goes down to nothing so we know which uh, what, which wire feeds a 5 volt reference. Currently unplug the sensor. As you can see there, there's a sensor. So, what I'm going to do is probe the first wire that I see, which is a, a brown, uh, sorry, a black with a brown tracer. And you can see there, we've got 5 volts. Now if we touch that with a test lamp, that goes down to nothing, so that tells us that it's a, a bias voltage. And if we go into the middle wire here, that shows zero. Um, so that wire will be a ground. So we'll check a 5 volt reference. You can see there we've got a 5 volts. So we've got a new genuine Mercedes part. And what we're going to do plug that in so if we plug that in and we'll refresh our scan tool the pressure sensors vacuum look at that so we're at zero millibar which is where we want to be turn the ignition on and you'll see that the vacuum pump will build up the pressure so we're currently sitting at it's continuously going and we're currently sitting at 720 millibar so that's just a quick diagnosis hope you enjoyed it see you next time